Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today we got a banger, check this out. We got a brand new 2023 TE300. Let's take a look at this bad boy. As you guys can see, we got a brand new bike, but unfortunately this one's not mine. I'm still waiting on my new beta to show up. As you guys know, we got a new X trainer coming in from me, but for the old man, we had to get him on a new bike. As you guys know, he used to be riding on this FE 350, and now we got this brand new TE 300 two stroke. So he swapped over to the dark side. So let's go ahead and let's see what his thoughts are on his brand new bike. We've just taken out on a couple rides here, just breaking it in, just getting some hours on the engine. Now this bike is TPI instead of TBI like the TX. So it's still got the older generation engine inside of it. And the bike does come standard with oil injection so no more mixing your gas before you're going out and riding which is a sweet little bonus so we'll go ahead and let's ask him what he thinks about the power so what do you think it's like riding on the latest and greatest te300 a totally smooth delivery of power on this one the, the excitement is definitely there it just takes a little longer to come on it's slow at the start but it definitely pulls hard at the higher rpms puts lots of smiles on your face when you're riding it so as we were saying earlier he's used to riding on the fe350 which is a four stroke and we now we've converted him over to the two stroke so what do you think about now riding on a two-stroke instead of the four-stroke? Uh, a lot more fun. Definitely a lighter bike handling wise in the corners because of the lower center gravity with the, the different size engine. They want to change direction very easily in the bush. The um, FE350 with so much centrifugal force of that four-stroke, it doesn't want to steer as nice. It, it's really heavy to steer. It wants to stay standing up straight. This one you just look into a corner and it's already taking the corner for you. It's, uh, it's much better handling. Way lighter feel. It's only 6.6 .6 pounds lighter than the uh, uh, FE 350, but it feels 30 or 40 pounds lighter when you're going through the techno stuff because of how much better it handles. Sorry, right, so what do you think about uh, the suspension on this bike? We have still linkage, so it's not like the XCW where it's the old PDS system. This does have the linkage set up on it. So what do you think of the suspension when you're out ripping it? It stays way better contact to the ground. It doesn't seem to want to bump up and over things like with the other one with its direct link. This one with the linkage in it, it tracks to the ground so much better. Like uh, we were doing 80 to 90 Ks down through the puddles there today and the tires never left the ground at all. It was great traction. Very stable feeling even in the corners. You know, it, it squats a little bit at high speed through the corners above 80k, but it's great. It doesn't give you any uh, lack of confidence in the corners at high speeds. Now with, with being a little bit of a heavier set rider, just over at 200 pounds, how does the stock suspension feel for someone like you? It's a little soft at this setting. I want to, I'm going to uh, probably change the rear spring setting, put a little bit more compression because it's starting to sag a little more. After the first two rides, it's supposed to sag about uh, 3.7 to 4.1 inches. And now I'm getting probably four and a half, four and three quarter inches. So I'm going to put a little more preload on it, but it is breaking in. It's set pretty good. It's set up supposedly for a 187 pound rider, but I'm 212 pounds and it seems to just track so nice on the, the techno rocks, right? All right, now do you want to come over here and let's showcase what do you got for mods on the bike here? So we have a fairly standard stock engine inside. Nothing's been touched there. Still have the power valve completely turned in. Haven't even played with that at all for power, but uh, what kind of, what, what mods do we got here on the bike? You want to just point, uh -huh. us, point us out what we got? The first thing I was adding was an aftermarket cooling fan for it because if you're going to be in the techno woods it, it, you will get it that you're in higher temperatures so i want to make sure that it was safe that way on my own protection i don't want to be into the trees with my knuckles so the bark busters were another add-on that we put onto it uh great protection for the brush but also if you wipe out you're not going to be breaking any of your levers off definitely worthwhile putting on the main is the p-tech skid plate it is a fantastic guard that is the best fitting skid plate i've ever had i had the emperor on my FE 350, but uh, this one fits so much nicer. Protects the pipe, isn't ever going to get damaged. Rear discard. 
so I can't bend the disc. Swing arm protectors on both sides. On the other side, I put a chain guard brace so you can't break off the chain guard tabs that are on there. Uh, the FMF 2.1 spark arrestor so that it's uh, forestry legal to be out into the woods. That's because the stock one doesn't the, come the with one? The stock one does not come with a spark arrestor. Um, it, and it also is a pound and a half lighter. Um, I still have uh, fork guards on the bottom we put on so far. And there is carbon fiber fork guards that are coming up for the rest of the forks so that I don't uh, scratch, sting, or dent them up anymore. Case, case guards. One will come over top of the clutch cover and then one over top of the ignition cover on the outside. But they're not in yet either. They're coming from barns. So overall, I think you could tell he's enjoying the bike and he's liking it. What are the things that you haven't enjoyed? Is there any sort of con or anything that you haven't thoroughly enjoyed or wish was different or would like to change about it? After it's broken in, I want the uh, power valve to open up a little bit sooner. I want to get into that uh, pinky power. It's, uh, it's very smooth and tangible power right now, but it has only got five hours on it too. So I, I don't have any negativity about it yet at all, except that I just want to get that break in done so I can get more power out of it. So it sounds like he's thoroughly enjoying this bike. There's n no cons. You got nothing. Nothing you don't love about it. Uh, maybe a stickier tire. Yeah. Rear, rear tire, I wouldn't mind getting something a little more sticky because it's a little bit out here right now. But So we're definitely interested in trying to stick some gummy tires on this and squeak out a little bit more traction out of it. I'd say watching him ride the bike, things tracks pretty well. You know, what do you think is it uh, for stability wise in the high, like when you're cruising a little bit higher speeds, what's, what's your opinion on uh, stability on this? Very stable. Very stable. Uh, yeah, very confident, inspiring. As soon as you get into, you know, three or four corners a little quick, it's great. You just, it looks around the corner and you keep on going. Wicked. Well, it sounds good. Let's go out and I'm gonna hop on the bike out on the roads and let's see what I think of it out there. Let's go try it. So we're on the uh, the old Husky 300 TE 300. Trying to get used to uh, the two stroke with mine coming up here pretty quick. This is so weird. Wow, there's lots of low end. Lots of low end. Super touchy on the throttle, for sure. This is like the first time really cruising on one of these uh, 300s. My first thing I noticed is the gear shift lever is quite, um... Whoa! Wow, there's lots of low... There's a lot of low end torque in this thing. I think I'm in third or fourth gear and you just just lug it up the hill and it goes no problem. This is interesting. Yeah, quite quite the different beast. Let's open it up a bit. Oh yeah, she rips. She rips pretty good. <laughs> no, it's, that's pretty good. No, it's uh definitely a whole different game than than riding the BBR thing. This is way different. Yeah, you gotta be super careful. There's a, a lot of grab before you actually get to the rear brake on it, which is interesting. Very different. Very, very untwitchy, very sensitive throttle. Lots of play in it. Very different. different animal. Yeah, that's... Very different on the braking. Noticeably just much stiffer suspension, but the whole... Yeah, it picks up quick, boy! It's quick. Woo! Yeah, that thing's fun. The power is a whole different, different animal. The whole braking thing is definitely, uh, definitely something to get used to. It's a uh, very different. The whole like, it feels very mountain bike-like, like there's not a lot of, um, it just feels way different. 
the whole braking thing is what gets me. It feels really weird. Compared to me and you, the only thing I noticed is your shifter is higher. Uh, that's the other thing I noticed too, is it feels like your shifter, like I gotta really scoop my foot to get in it. And the braking is way less. It, you gotta, well like, it feels like it's more travel to like, or maybe just the lever itself sits lower, so it's like different feel, but. And the brake lever is really far down to actuate it. Power feels good. Brakes are pretty good. Suspension's soft. Rear end's a little stiff. But yeah, I just think it's the, the brake level that was up a little bit. Be perfect. So different. Yeah. Such a different feel. And I, on, it feels more... This one, it doesn't feel like it wants to necessarily just throw up the front end it feels like it just wants to like just like freight train whereas like luke's it was like very on off power yeah. this feels much more linear yeah that's fun here you go i won't, I won't wreck it all right, gonna jump in here from the future. Uh, yeah, overall thoughts, TE300, super great, awesome bike, lots of fun. If you're thinking to pick one up, I would suggest just going for it and go get one of these things, man. You're gonna have a whole lot of fun out in the trails. Uh, he clearly loves his, the old man definitely loves his bike and has no remorse or any regrets picking it up. So pick one up. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys click the like button, click subscribe down below and leave a comment if you got any questions and we'll be for sure to answer it. See you in the next one.